morning and welcome to day 31 of the mindfulness challenge. Today we're going to be talking about higher self. What does that mean? Well, higher self is sort of generally regarded as being the union with your divine source, with your soul. You lot of, you hear a lot of people talking about mind and body and soul, and it's the idea that we can connect into this identity within ourselves that is our higher self that the notion of this soul and how we have different aspects and we have this spiritual connection with ourselves and with the divine is something that is has been around for many many years and it's a concept whereby if we have this mindful awareness of our higher self that peace enlightenment salvation you hear all of these words but it contains a lot of insight your soul your inner self contains a lot of insight about a lot of the questions you have for yourself also stores a lot of um, uh, a lot of the information and shadows where we need to work through and some people you know even look at the purpose of what's your purpose of your existence why are you here um, and this spiritual exposure within people is is what we talk about the conscious connection the the connection with higher self and when we tap into this higher intelligent if, if in cells it allows us to have this enlightened perspective of the world around us which is really interesting at the moment because the world around us at the moment is is very different to what we've known maybe for our lifetime so the ability to sit inside and just connect with yourself and ask yourself some questions internally and wait for the answers is something that is you know is very powerful and i believe that you know this is a and we're going to go into quite a long meditation um but it's it's really there to help you get a deeper understanding of what's lodged in you what's in your soul and we're going to go on this journey where we're going to move into a different time and a different space and it's going to allow us to, to see where we are with ourselves and to unlock ourselves. So, you know, we've done a lot of mindfulness, thinking about emotion and awareness and and our relationship with things. But now I want you to go into this sort of, we're going to have this multi-dimensional journey. Because as we've become more mindful and we've pushed our awareness out, we should start to be able to feel a lot more subtle energies around us. Everything is energy. Everything is, is, is around us is energy, vibration and energy. Okay, so we're going to go straight into it today. So this is a meditation where we're looking about our higher selves. And this meditation is going to be there to help us to understand ourselves, to, to project and look at our look at our quantum self, our chakras, our and, and, and it's a very spiritual experience. Okay. So as always, I'm going to put an image up and then I'm going to start the meditation. So I'd like you now just to get comfortable, as we always do, and I'm going to guide you through this experience, this journey. Um, and as I said, this is slightly longer than normal, so I want you to be completely comfortable and to find that you're not going to be disturbed for any of this session, okay? And all of these things, when we talk about being comfortable and having that space, is it allows for maximum relaxation and connection with yourself, okay? And to get into this meditative state that allows us to, as I said earlier, open our chakras, explore our astral projection, meet our quantum self and have this spiritual experience. All we need to do is just simply relax and to relax with every breath, every deep breath and activate our senses around us. So we're gonna have three big breaths together now and each breath taking you closer towards this spiritual and creative intelligence okay so first of all breathing in and inhaling as full as you can expand expanding your lungs and your belly and just hold it for a moment and then exhale two again inhaling feeling the relaxing sensations encompassing your body hold it and exhale three inhaling as much as you can but feeling the great power within you through this oxygenation hold it soak let it soak in and then exhale so already you'll feel yourself just starting to relax 
So just relax, allowing your eyes to be comfortable and take, take in the sense away from your vision and begin to focus with your eyes closed to all the sounds that are around you. I've put a little bit of music in here so you can hear um, the recording that is around you, but also sensing and hearing the things that are going on around you as well. I want you to stop listening to the sounds and begin to focus on the sensations in your body. What are your fingertips touching? Notice how the palms of your hands feel. What are your feet touching? Notice the soles of your feet and how they feel. Become aware of your head and, and notice how your, your, how your scalp feels. Can you sense how extremely powerful your mind, your body and soul is? And what about your mind? Can you become aware of it? Can you sense it? Can you see it? How big is it? Our mind is our imagination and our ability to imagine is absolutely boundless. Our mind doesn't have any limits whatsoever. You can literally use the great power of your creative imagination to experience multi-dimensions. And I'm going to count. Uh, I'm going to count down from ten to one. And with each number I say, you'll be floating along the timeline of your past, just observing all of the moments of your life. And you'll watch them pass by without involving or evoking any emotions. You're just floating along this timeline of your life, all the way to your birth and making your way back to your soul level where you can communicate with your higher self, also known as your quantum self. 10, letting your mind begin to drift back in time. What were you doing this morning, yesterday? the week before and the month before that. Nine, see what you were doing last year. This time last year, what were you doing? Eight, floating back along your timeline. Five years go by and you can see yourself floating through the emotions of your life. And then 10 years go by. Seven, you drift all the way to your school days. You see the moments flash before you when you were a teenager. Six, you're drifting through your childhood. You see the places you lived during these times and any memories that come, you just let them pass by. Let them float as you float through your life. Five, you are seeing things from where you were very young. Perhaps they're real accounts of memories you had, or maybe you can just see the stories that you were told about you in your early childhood. Four, you can see you're a baby now, just learning to walk. See these moments as clearly as you can. Three, you're a very tiny baby now, and before you could walk, you'd see people caring for you and observe any colors or sounds you may notice from this time. Two, you are now in your mother's womb, safe and warm. It's quiet in there and you feel, you feel wanted in the world outside of your mother. One, now you are only but a spark of life in your mother, sent from your father. And zero, you're passing through back into a spiritual dimension, a place of unlimited awareness. Observe whatever you are experiencing right now. You sense a presence that is so pure and is so beautiful. It's the most intelligent presence you've ever felt. This presence is your spirit. This presence is your higher self. Notice the qualities of this existence. What is it like? And allow for a moment of stillness now. The higher self has been waiting a long time for you to come to this moment 
where you can connect, where you can learn. What form does this higher knowledge take on this moment? What do they look like? Notice every deal, a detail, and, and the quality about the quantum being that you can. Be excited that you are here and you are listening. What is the first bit of knowledge this spirit offers about you in your human form? Giving you insight about something you need to know. So open yourself up completely now to anything you need to learn about this current human incarnation and what you're experiencing. And ask yourself those questions and listen. Listen with an open mind, allowing anything in your mind that needs to be present, present itself. Any messages you receive here and now, you remember for the rest of your human life. This is a total, a very important moment with your total soul consciousness. You may hear messages in the form of words, or you might just have a feeling. Whatever you're experiencing is perfectly fine. This is your intuition. And allow your intuition to speak with you. And this moment you're spending with your intuition is void of any fears. Fear cannot exist when spirit is present. So without any burden of fear, ask this all-knowing higher knowledge, whatever you need to, or anything that comes to mind. Say to your higher self now, how can my human incarnation carry out my soul's purpose and listen. Incarnating as life on earth is a learning experience, a kind of school. So ask this spirit now anything you need to know or to do as a student in this human form and listen now very closely because any message you receive is very important. And as you spend this time together, you are feeling completely rejuvenated. Your mind automatically sorts through any problems with ease and clarity. Earth is just a chance for us to solve any or all of our problems so that we can experience fully pure paradise. Ask your higher self now anything that comes to mind and just sit and listen very closely. There are seven messages that your higher self has for you right now. So as they say each of these things to you, sit with the message and allow yourself to make of it what you will. You deserve the best in every situation. You have very special gifts. Your higher self would like you to turn any negatives into positives.
to live and let others live. Remember him to make time for play. Meditate as much as you can. And they want you to know more than anything that you should love yourself with loving kindness always. And now we're gonna merge fully and completely with your higher self, bringing you full access to your intuition during every moment of your human life. Allow yourself to completely connect with your higher self, becoming a very powerful force and never separating again, understanding your role, your clarity and your purpose. You are now one with your higher self. You're whole and you're complete. And you're able to access infinite intuition at any moment of your physical incarnation. I want you to sit for a moment and really experience this beautiful sensation of complete wholeness. Travel to an experience in one of your past lives that would allow you to clear anything that could be holding you back in your present life. So I want you just to start to imagine again and picture that you're floating along your timeline. And I'm going to count down from five. And with each number I say you get closer and closer to a past life that you need to witness. A past life that will allow you to release any limitations. Five, drifting and floating along your timeline. Four, three, two, allowing your mind to bring you into a past life. One, you are now in this past life. Gaze around and see what you notice. It appears that this past life is one that allows you to release anything that's holding you back, removing any blocks you may have. Whatever comes for you is open just for yourself and allow it to open. Now look down at your feet. What do they look like? See your surroundings. Where are you? Notice the details of where you are and what you're supposed to notice here sense what kind of person you are in this past life. What kind of clothes do you wear? What kind of people do you know? And how do you feel in this body? You see that you're going to a place, perhaps an event or ceremony, to remove any blocks you may have. And I want to see this day happen. There are important people here. These people greatly support you. And just witness and see the special things that are taking place, allowing any of your limitations to be freed. Feel in your body the sensations of any blockages dissipating. Notice how you feel each time something more releases during this beautiful ceremony. As you stand here, you realize you've been waiting for this day for a very long time and others attending this ceremony are also spirits incarnating in their vision to congratulate you on this advancement into complete freedom. The spirits in this experience are people you know, people you've known and people you will know along your human life. They are pure spirit. 
And as you stand there, you can see your body glowing with beautiful energy once you have fully freed everything that serves you no purpose or anything that gave you blockages in the past. And now you've completed this spiritual ceremony through this amazing past life experience. You're completely unblocked and you feel more free, more present, more aware and more loving than you ever have. And now let your mind leave the ceremony, being happy with the experience you've had here. Yet let your mind float and drift, bringing you and your imagination through to a beautiful beach. And you're walking along this beach with the white sand, it's so soft and warm under your feet. Small waves are lapping against the shore. And as you walk, you see things in the sand like colorful shells and pieces of rock, seaweed, and your own footprints. You notice a piece of driftwood that is perfect size for, for writing in the sand with. So I want you to pick it up and go to where the sand is wet with seawater. I just want you to begin to write your name in the sand and notice the sounds the sticks make as you scratch through the sand. Now step back from your name and look at it. You notice a small wave comes and partially washes away your name. And by doing so, it also washes away any fears. And another comes and washes your name away even more. Washing away anything that brings you anguish. And then another, and another, until your name is washed away by the waves. Completely washing away your worries until you see is the ripples in the sand where your name once used to be. Now we continue to walk along this beautiful beach, noticing the temperature of the weather and perhaps the sun on your skin or a nice breeze passing by. Maybe you can hear the waves lapping against the shore and some seabirds just flying overhead. As you walk a little further, you see a nice chair. So sit down, take a rest and gaze into the beautiful blue ocean. Notice the horizon and how the ocean meets the sky. As you look into this most beautiful scene you've ever witnessed, you notice a small white cloud just brewing on the horizon and it's coming towards you. And when the cloud gets close, you notice that this cloud is very intelligent this is the cloud of infinite knowledge. Any questions that you have begin to blow them out towards the cloud and watch as you blow anything away that you desire now. The cloud grows darker and heavy with rain, but you continue blowing, allowing for the cloud of knowledge to soak up everything that you ponder. All of your thoughts and questions you may have, you can blow them into the cloud. And now it becomes heavy with your thoughts and your questions which turn into rain and it begins to pour a warm and gentle storm of purifying inside you onto the beach and as the water and this beautiful rainstorm is just cascading over you it's filling you with infant knowledge and enjoy this cloud this warm water this storm now as it soaks you in boundless intelligence Feel all of the answers washing over you. Allowing your soul and your chakras to be open and fully cleansed. Sit here for a moment and just allow the infinite and intelligent knowledge to wash over you, to cleanse you and to give you the answers to the questions that you've always wanted, but in a loving, intuitive spiritual way. You've had an ex incredible experience today, one that will last for you for your entire life. But we're gonna come back now to the wakeful awareness, bringing back all that you've learned today with you, bringing back that love and that wholeness and that feeling. 
and I'm going to count from one to ten to bring you back into the room. One, coming back. Two, feeling good inside. Three, feeling strong inside. Four, breathing in that beautiful fresh oxygen. Five, you're feeling so complete. Six, feeling that wholeness around you. Seven, feeling so much wiser. Eight, coming back now. Nine, almost there. And 10, feeling completely happy, completely rejuvenated, and a sense of internal clarity and purpose. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly open your eyes. So this is a bit more of a, a deeper spiritual journey that's based around mindfulness. What mindfulness gives us is the ability to be able to open ourselves and be in those moments and have that whole experience without any judgment and being able to separate the experience with our inner intuition. I hope you enjoyed it. Day 31 was an interesting one. Leave your comments, tell me how you got on below. Please subscribe and, and, and paste, copy and paste this into your Facebook pages. Each one, reach one. Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. God bless you. Hope day 31 is good for you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Be love and give love. Bye-bye.